If Overlord makes less in this movie, I'm going to be really pissed. I mean, it probably will, which is pretty much me guaranteeing that I'm going to be pissed after the weekend. The girl in this spider's web. And first of all, this is not me saying this is a spoiler warning. I'm saying right here, I will talk about what the trailer showed you and what the trailer showed me, which I feel like showed way too much. But it's in the trailer, so I'm gonna talk about it here because I feel like if you're interested in seeing this movie, you saw the trailer. And if you saw the trailer, you might not be interested in seeing this movie. And if you didn't see the trailer, you probably have no interest in seeing this movie. So I feel like it's probably fine. So the girl in the spider's web is the sequel to the girl with the dragon tattoo. Instead of Rooney Mara playing Elizabeth Salander, we have Claire Foy. Both do a fine job in both respective movies. In fact, clarifying this movie is one of the things I liked about the movie. And the plot of this movie, essentially, it's a hacker thriller. There's this program that this guy made that will give whoever has it way too much power. They will have, essentially, the nuclear codes for the world. With these codes, they will be able to unleash the first episode of American Horror Story Apocalypse. Thus, the hacker chase is on. And no, I did not describe the plot of a 90s movie. Well, I did, kind of. It sounds like it, but that is the plot of this movie. Something about it actually kind of reminded me of Goldeneye. This thing that will give whoever has it way too much power. The bad guys want it. The good guys need to get it before the bad guys do. The villain in this movie is a spectacular of the hero's past, and just like the trailer in GoldenEye, this trailer ruins that. 007 is facing the ultimate enemy, the man who knows him best. Hello, James. What an unpleasant surprise. 006. Someone always has to carry the pain. Now it's your turn, sister. Fucking trailers, man. Granted, for the girl in the spider's web, even if that wasn't in the trailer, you would totally know. The movie sets it up at the beginning. It doesn't even hide it. So when the reveal happens, you're like, yeah, no shit. As for what I liked in this movie, I liked Claire Foy. She was cool, efficient, smart, cunning, badass. I do get a different vibe from her portrayal than Rooney Mara. Not saying it's good or bad. I just, I get a different vibe, you know? Kind of like the Dumbledore. And some of the action sequences were actually really cool. One of them, oh, it's shown in the trailer where she's riding the motorcycle across the ice. That was pretty sweet. This movie has intrigue in it. It's just that the intrigue is bomb bogged down with a lot of extra shit. This movie's kind of a mess, kind of a wreck. The movie just feels cluttered, cramped, convoluted. Other than this movie having way too many cogs to keep the wheel turning, the people are kind of idiots other than her. Like she's the smartest person in this movie by a clear mile. Bad guys getting stabbed in a fight, leaving the bloody knife there at the crime scene so people can just take DNA from it. And the people who never take DNA from it? Or how about the fact this dude is in a safe house? They cannot have the bad guys find this guy. The bad guys are trying to kill this dude. And directly across the street, you can see from the bedroom window, this big abandoned building. All you see are just sniper positions up and down that thing. Like, man, people could just take you out because you're right there. Worst safe house ever. But I'm gonna go ahead and chalk the bad guys up to being idiots for the fact that they never used the building to snipe the dude. There's also this one scene. I don't mean to be so nitpicky, but one nitpick leads to another and now I'm just gonna dump it on you. But it's ridiculous. Like there's a scene where this dude, there's this word, he doesn't know what it is. He kind of hits a stone wall. So how is he ever gonna figure it out? And someone's like, oh, that's a Russian word. It means this. He's like, it's Russian? What, you didn't Google it? You didn't think to Google it at all. When I see a weird word, I don't know, you know what I do? I Google it. And I have yet to not get an answer from that. And while this movie does have some intriguing action, there was one action sequence in particular. It's really dark, it's really misty, really foggy. And everyone, including our hero, is wearing a mask. So they all look the same. And I just didn't know who was who in that fight. I was like, is, is, is she winning? Are they winning? I, I don't know. But there's this one part where she's guiding this dude out of this building. She can't see the dude. But then he hesitates, doesn't want to do a thing. Then he agrees to do the thing. So she lets him out and he gets out just in time to take care of this one dude. But if he didn't hesitate, it wouldn't have worked. So did she know he would have hesitated? What did she plan it? Is she God? I don't know. The movie never tells me if she is or is not God, but I'm kind of leaning that direction. That's pretty fucking clairvoyance or clairvoyance. Shit. I might delete that. God, it's such a dad joke. It's, it's happening, folks. Soon I'm gonna start recording vertically on my phone. Dark times are ahead of us. Guys, in the end, this movie was pretty well represented by his trailer. While watching the trailer, at first I was like, yeah, I'm into this. And the trailer was really messy. And by the end, I was like, man. Then while watching the movie, at first I was like, yeah, I'm into this. And the movie was really messy. And by the end, I was like, man. Fact is, it's a hacker thriller that feels like we have seen it a hundred times before. Between 1993 and now, there have been a lot of those. And this one just offers nothing new, really. So I'm gonna say, I'm not gonna remember this in T minus one day. Yep, already forgot. Funny enough, there's a scene at the end of the movie that is straight up ripped off from Daredevil. No, not the Netflix Daredevil the Ben Affleck daredevil. When I saw the setup, I saw the scene, I was like, you're not gonna daredevil us, are you? You're not gonna actually do the daredevil? Then daredevil. I don't know, maybe that's how it was in the book or the original movie. I haven't seen the original movie. I haven't read the book. I'm sure it's been used in 147 other movies, but I thought it daredevil. All right, so the girl in the spider's web, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Whatever you thought, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more.